Hi everyone, welcome to Stampin' Gala and StampinGala.com. My name is Julie Gilson and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Today I want to show you how to make this adorable card that I posted on my Facebook page a few days ago. I got so many requests for a video, I decided to do that today for you. Anyway, to get started, I'm using, this is our new soft sea foam. I also have some silver foil sheets and I'm using the shimmery white cardstock because I am watercoloring in the background. The stamp sets are called Dandelion Wishes, which is right here, and also Itty Bitty Greetings, which has a number of sentiments that are very nice to have for all the different occasions that you need to send cards for. So let me go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're gonna start off with a piece of shimmery white cardstock, and you have to use shimmery white or watercolor paper when you're watercoloring. So I'm using this aqua painter, and we're gonna make sure that we put a layer of water down. Not too much, but not too little either. You, it does take some practice. So we're also again going to use four different colors. The first one is pool party. So I'm just adding some pool party to my brush here, my aqua painter, and I'm gonna add some right on the cardstock. Now, if you don't add the water, it just does not come out as nice. Um, we're gonna go ahead and switch to the Coastal Cabana, and it's a little bit darker than the, the pool party, so it adds some natural shading in there. Next, we're gonna move down to Pear Pizzazz. Now, Pear Pizzazz is different from the soft sea foam, but as it dries, it looks very nicely together. Okay, and then finally, we're gonna use our brand new Highland Heather and add some shading of the, it's like a light lavender here in the sky. Okay, all right, so now the next thing, you wanna make sure that you dry it completely with the heat tool because if you don't, um, you'll have a silver mess on your hands. So as you can see, I'm gonna show you just a second here. I'm gonna use a heat tool. Now this isn't even dried enough, but I did one offline so we could speed things up a little bit. And as you can see, they're slightly different. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in the stamp I'm gonna ink this up really well with your Versamark. Okay, and we're using silver embossing powder. Let me just bend this back a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna put this on an angle. So it's gonna go down like this. Okay, and then We'll bring in the powder, the embossing powder. Be careful not to get touch this before it's embossed because it will rub off and then you have to start all over again. As you can see, I have some up here. You wanna make sure you get that off of there. Okay, so we'll bring back in the heat tool and heat this up. Let me just click it one more time here in the center. Okay, so that's all done. Now it's really important that you make sure you have it completely heated because if any is not changed, if you didn't turn it to the shiny silver, it will rub off. Okay, I will have the dimensions for this on my blog. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna snail these two together. Okay, so we're gonna place this on the silver foil sheets, and I just have a clearance of an eighth of an inch. Now, if you like this video, please make sure that you subscribe to my blog. 
and also my YouTube video channel. Okay, I'd appreciate that. It helps me to get the um, subscribers that I need to continue doing this. Now I have a piece of um, soft sea foam that I ran through the big shot ahead of time. We're gonna snail this to the card base. Okay, just like that. Another piece of sea foam green, soft sea foam. And we're going to put our panel right on here with dimensionals, okay? So let me grab my dimensionals. And before I put this down, I'm gonna add a, a bow around here with, this is our silver and white baker's twine. So this is gonna go on here. Tie it in a little bow. I just think this adds a, just a nice little touch. And I think this um, card works well for even a sympathy card with the sentiment sending prayers or anybody that's going through a hard time, whether they're ill or have other issues they're dealing with. Everybody loves to be thought of. And if you don't need a card like this with this sentiment, you can always change it to a birthday or get well, anything like that. We're gonna put this down in here on this panel. I'm gonna add some more dimensionals on the back. I always like to put one in the center here so that the paper doesn't, or the cardstock doesn't seem to sink right in the center or bow a little bit downwards. Okay, we'll bring this in and center this. Okay, now offline, I actually ran, let me show you real quick. I used this sentiment and I um, ran it through the Big Shot. I stamped it with Versamark, ran it through the Big Shot um, with a die, and I'll show you that in just a second. Put this down here, and add this to the front of the card. Move this down a little bit, okay. I did add some rhinestones. I like to keep my rhinestones in here just to keep them nice and neat. And I'm just going to add these at random. So, let me see. We'll just put one here, up here. Oops. And finally, here. Now you do want to, I don't know why that's not sticking. You wanna make sure that when you're do, adding rhinestones and things, that you do it in an um, uneven pattern. So three, five, seven, things like that. Okay, so that is the outside of the card. Now the inside, what I did offline is I ran this through the Big Shot using the scalloped edge from the um, seasonal layers die. Oh, and let me back up. This is a brand new set, Merry Christmas Thinlets, from the Christmas catalog, and I used this die to cut out the sentiment. Okay, so we're gonna put this on the inside of the card, right on the let me see, let me center this. I thought I cut it the right size, obviously I didn't. 
Okay, so we're just gonna trim this off here. Normally, if I wasn't doing a video, I would trim this on the trimmer so it's absolutely perfect. But we're gonna just do it on here today, okay? All right, so we're gonna snail this down on another piece of soft sea foam. And, okay, I'm going to actually tie another bow around here to finish the inside off. I'm trying to go quickly so my video doesn't run over and it's making me look clumsy. <laughs> Oops. I love tying bows and things on my packages and on my cards and projects, but Baker's twine is really difficult to get just right. Notice how I'm holding the knot so it lays better. Okay. So just about done here, and I need another snail because I ran out. You always think that you're prepared and you always get a surprise when you're doing something, a live video or even YouTube. Okay, so there is your second card. I hope you really like it. And please visit my blog at www.stampinggala.com. And also I do live Facebook Live videos every Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. And my you can find me on the Stampin' Gala Stampers Group on Facebook. If you're not yet a member, just please click on the Join button and I'll prove you right away. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.